ETF 101 Third Edition Groundwater Detector The latest device for detecting underground water The most unique design case which consists of The main control unit of the device The grip allows us to carry the main unit through it. Transceiver antennas and the signal support antennas. Sound unit works to receive the sound alert system from the main unit wirelessly and connects it to the headphone. Geophysical unit. This unit works through to scanning sensors only, which allows the system to work with ease and comfort. Reinforcement unit equipped with a built-in transmitter that works in two systems. Headphones connected via the headphone jack located on the top of the audio unit. Probes and wires. USB charger, three years warranty card, and the user manual DVD. Installation method. We are going to assemble the device parts and accessories one by one, as you'll see. Initially, we are fixing the handle grip. Then the antennas, every antenna with its compatible jack in the main unit. the sound system. And to connect the headphones with sound unit if we want to work with headphones feature. We are going to assemble the geophysical system unit. To fix the geo unit in the same way we fix the grip. Start detection. In the beginning, we will turn on the device by longer press for two seconds at the power key and then the operating system on the device which you powered by Rear Cloud will upload. After uploading the operating system, the search system interface will appear, which contains the geophysical system icon and the long range system icon. First, we will explain how to set up the setting by choosing by pressing the up arrow. Here we could increase or decrease the brightness of the display. Second, to control the sound settings, we could enable or disable headphone feature, vibration feature, the sound of the keys, and to of course control the volume of the device. Third, we have the language setting to select the proper language among English, French, Arabic, and Spanish. Here, we could set up the time. And here we could enable the Bluetooth feature.
reset password, enable or disable the password, or even a change to password. Here we could do factory reset. We have to be careful that all data will be lost if we press OK. Finally, here we could find all the information about the model software belt number and the serial number of the device. And for further information, you could visit the website quickly by using the QR code to surf the website. Searching Interfaces Long Range System After returning back to the main interface and select the Long Range System icon, the next step is to set up the parameters of the searching, which contain distance, that we could set it up to 2500 meters. We could choose between the target if we are looking for natural, mineral, salt, or even all types of water. Then we should set the depth that we want to search for. After that, we could go for Start Search and select it. Two options will appear, Ground Transmitter and Filter in the screen. We should select one of the two options and make sure that the Bluetooth system is activated from the Bluetooth Configuration option. Or you can activate it directly here in this window. First, we have to turn on the reinforcement unit by longer pressing the power key. The ground transmitter system offers a ground wave search system, supported by the fine-tuned transmission and enhancement system, and by automatic tuning system ATS. We are going to continue searching by selecting ground transmitter. Here's appear the searching screen contains the parameters, which have already been selected, as well as the laser light icon will appear which helps to easily identify the target point. And the direction compass tell us the directions and help us to locate accurately the path of the target. Star Detection We could volume up the sound using the sound unit switch. calibration process by swinging the main unit by its handle grip we we'll remove the device by hand to the right then left slowly and then the hand that holds the device is steady after calibration process we have to move with a steady steps in a direction to start detection any possible target we still moving until device is turning left or right in this point we find the target pass we should try another direction to make sure that the target in the same direction. We repeat this again to make sure now the direction of the target is confirmed. Progress toward the target according to the direction of the antenna in a straight way until reach a point that the device turn back way. That means exceeded of the target location. Head back and then walk slowly until the device turns back again. That indicates that the existence point of the target just below it. Another way for us to accurately determine where the target is located. We draw a virtual square around the target point, a square 3 meters from the target site. We will now choose the intersection point of the four readings.
quality of the target, choose the filter option from the ground reinforcement unit, also from the search screen, then bring the ground reinforcement unit. Also, bring the device and place it in middle between the point of expected target and the reinforcement unit and place it 10 meters from the expected target. If the device turns towards the target, so the target is 100% real, else the target is unreal. Depth Determination To determine depth of target, first we select the target point as a starting point. Then we move forward at medium speed. We keep walking until the device turns backwards to the target point. The depth value is distance between the point of the target and the point that the device turns back as you could see in the illustration. Geophysical system. First we have to assemble the geophysical system unit and accessories by connecting the geophysical unit with the main unit. Plug in the wires to the geophysical unit. For example, 6 meters, the distance between the first pole and the second pole must be equal to 3m to 3m, as shown in a drawing. To start the search, the user must press the OK key to run the scanning process. We wait for the search indicator to progress until the end of the reading of the area of the site. Upon completion of the reading, the target type and depth will be shown on the screen automatically. Note: Make sure that the wires are connected well. Noting that when it's connected well and the probes are connected to the geophysical unit when starting the search, the developed geophysical system provides you with a smart system for verifying the conductivity of the electrodes in the soil and the wires or not connecting them and explaining this on the screen through warning messages. We provide a quick set of tips to ensure the best results and avoid mistakes. If the error signal persists for the non-wiring mode, this means that there is something wrong with the wires and it must be checked at the connections between the connecting tweezers. The wires and the probes are well also, and if verified and this node continues, this means that the conductivity of the soil is very weak, and the sensor site needs to be moistened with water more. And sometimes you may have to drill 10 to 15 cm at the site of the sensor site to obtain conductivity with the soil. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube.